watch this now. If you learn to respect and appreciate the blessing of the barn, that means God can trust you with something bigger and better. Okay, you still ain't got it. Let me help you. You want a house? Pay your rent on the apartment in town. You want a new car? Keep the oil change on the old car. You want to be a supervisor on the line? Show up on time to work on the line. You see, the way to getting a better blessing is to recognize the blessing of a bond. And is there anybody who, who can testify, Davis, I learned how to be faithful over the bond, and God blessed me with something bigger and better. The reason you ought to shout about your bond, the reason you should never be embarrassed about your bond is because even though it's a bond, at least you got somewhere to go. Let me help you. See, for the most part, watch this now, we are sensual beings. That is, that we tend to make decisions based on how we feel rather than the facts. In other words, watch this, you can know and still not flow simply because you're not feeling it. I wish I had somebody. You tell folks, I ain't really feeling that. I wish I had some help in here. So what moves us and motivates us more than anything else is not just spiritual insight, but our sensual perception. And so also, watch this now, we make a situation bigger than what it is based on how we feel. Okay, you look at it in front of let me show it to you. The text says she laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. She laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. So Jesus ends up being born in a barn because they were rejected. It is rejection that causes them to end up where they end up. But now, here is the interesting part of the story. They end up in a barn, my brothers, because they've been rejected by the man at the front door. But I never hear Joseph say, what you mean? You ain't got no room. Do you not know who I am? I am Joseph. I am from the house of David, the first king of the unified kingdom of Israel. I'm related to the shepherd boy that y'all boast and brag about killing Goliath. Do you not recognize who I am? If you did not have room for me, why did Caesar Augustus send for me? Why would you send for me and my family if you didn't have room enough to house me? I got my pregnant wife here and you mean to tell me you can't make no room for me? You must not know who I am. But that's nowhere in the story. Nor do we ever read where Mary says, really? 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 You want to marry me? And you can't even find no room for me? You know I'm pregnant? You done brought me all the way out here to meet your folk? And you mean to tell me you can't find no room? You supposed to be the man talking about you related to King David? And you ain't even got enough clout in order to give us a room? Really? Maybe the reason Joseph doesn't cook, maybe the reason Mary doesn't clown, is because while they did not get to stay where they wanted, they were thankful that at least they had somewhere. You missed it. Maybe. Perhaps. Could be. Instead of you always complaining about what you don't have. Maybe you ought to look around and be thankful for what you do have. Instead of always complaining about what didn't go right. What didn't work out. Who left you hanging? Who played you? Who betrayed you? Who lied on you? Who stabbed you in your back? Who would no real ride or die? The money you don't have in the bank. The promotion you did not get. God says, shut up. Take a look around. And while you may only have a bond, 
You ought to thank me that at least I gave you something because there were some folks that didn't even have a barn. Joseph and Mary were not the only ones who came to town. Other folks came to town as well. They couldn't even find a barn. They were stuck outside somewhere. They were laying up against a tree covered by some blankets. So instead of being a complainer, every now and then you ought to say, God, I thank you. At least I got something. Are there any thankful people in here? Is there anybody here that can say, Preacher, I'm too grateful to just complain about what I don't have. Yes, I got sick this year, but thank God I'm still living. Yes, I got laid off this year, but thank God I still paid my bills. Yes, I was disappointed this year, but thank God I'm still in the right mind. Yeah, they hurt my feelings this year, but thank God I still got joy. Is there anybody here that's thankful for everything that God has? Thanking God for your bond. You won't have time to be jealous of what other folk got. And watch this. And watch this, baby. They was in the bond. The Christ child was born in the bond. They did all right in the bond. They survived in the bond. But can I tell you the difference between the folk in the bond and the folk in the hotel? When it was time to go, the folk in the bond didn't have no bill. (laughs) 